I'm just gonna flare very slowly here. And right rudder as I touch down, right rudder, right rudder. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit the brakes. And I'm gonna get the speed brakes out as well. It's not the prettiest landing in the world, but uh, we got it down. And you can bring in some right aileron here when you're actually touched down on the ground. That was very heavy braking. Um, and if you hit the I key, you can actually take off the ILS indicator. That toggles that button down there, by the way. So it's a quick way to toggle your ILS on and off. Okay, I get the nose wheel steering on. And I'll exit the runway here. Okay, so that was um, <laughs> IQT2, part two, and you know, chal very challenging flying in these conditions. Uh, not only the navigating here, but also uh, having to set up your communications, all the normal things that you know you're doing as you approach an airport, you have to do. But on top of that, you have all of these uh, other things like uh, setting up your ILS frequencies, make sure, you, you know, you're, when it gives you a certain runway, you want to make sure you have the right uh, frequencies on, uh, on not only the right frequency, but also your course needs to be correct as well. Um, and, you know, it's just very, very, very challenging flying in these conditions, so practice makes perfect. One little piece at a time, you know, uh, start off with, with just regular, normal landings, then, you know, you can move on to crosswind landings, and then, uh, then just do a regular ILS approach in, in good visibility during the day. I recommend that. Uh, then you know try it at nighttime, and then try it in inclement weather like this, where there's a, a really nasty crosswind. So that's how you work up to these conditions. Um, that's a 23 knot crosswind, almost approaching the 25 knot limit of the F-16. So it's not really going to be pretty. I mean, you, you, like uh, in a real aircraft, for instance, like in a, in a Cessna uh, that I fly. It, it just doesn't look pretty. You have a, a really strong crosswind, you know, 10 knot crosswind, thir 13 knot crosswind. Y there's no way you're going to get the aircraft down and kind of make it look nice and finesse it. Um, it's it's just going to kind of look ugly. Um, you know, you, you get you do get those landings every once in a while that <laughs> you wonder how you pulled them off, but you know, the whole time you're just trying not to, um, you know, topple the aircraft over or hit a, get a wing strike or anything like that. Um, you're maintaining control, you know, you're, you're being calm, but uh, you are fighting the wind all the way down to the ground. You're fighting gust, you're fighting uh, turbulence, uh, low level wind shear, you're fighting all the, in, in these conditions, the air is just moving and swirling around, especially as you get lower to the ground. So I hope these uh, videos help, and uh, the next video will probably be uh, some weapons training, so I'll see you guys then. Keep it around.